Wasted away again at another Comic-Con. <laughs> One of the most uh, interesting things about Comic-Con is, much like all conventions, you really kind of get to reach out and hang out with people that you see really only once a year. And it's uh, a wonderful time. And usually, every night, uh, there's a lot of drinking that's involved. Uh, it's a giant party, to, to be totally honest with you. It's toys, it's cosplay, it's movie news, it's amazing toys, all sorts of cool reveals, and then drinking. And <laughs> now I'm pretty sure this has nothing to do with it, but uh, the folks over at Mattel decided to do a uh, another Comic-Con exclusive. This one being the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Jimmy Buffett figure um he did appear in the jurassic world film and uh, it was kind of a cool little homage because i think he was actually at like the margaritaville uh, restaurant on on the island which uh, margaritaville was like his one, one of his like iconic songs but he also made restaurants out of them which is hilarious uh here's instructions for it now one thing that i will tell tell you is that for the most part, th th this package I really don't feel is collector friendly in terms of being able to reseal it or anything. So, a little bit unfortunate, but you have uh, some instructions right here. So, I'm probably going to end up having to do a cut. Hopefully, it works pretty well. But you can see Jimmy Buffett. You, you got Buffett right there, Jimmy. And then him running away, carrying margaritas. Because, yes side right here says Mattel Creations the back section here says a music industry icon Jimmy Buffett made his Jurassic World debut when the Dimorphodons attacked from the sky following the destruction of the aviary <laughs> with dinosaurs on the loose and park guests in imminent danger his priorities are clearly in order as he rescues two margaritas during the mayhem and <laughs> searches for shelter and his lost shaker of salt you know we, we recently lost jimmy buffett which is definitely a very sad kind of thing so the fact that they did this is really very cool the top section here sees that uh or you can see that he is part of the hammond collection and then you open it and you have the package on the inside here. And it's, it's gonna, I'm just going to tip it upside down like that. Now, like I said, uh, the collectability aspect of it. And, and then the thing that's kind of funny is you can actually take this. You can connect these, which I, I'm not going to be very good at. But you actually, um, you bend that, you bend that. You sandwich these two things together. Um, this section here is gonna, it's gonna kind of go like this and it creates a handle for you. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at the, it's got like, uh, it's like a big giant coffee sort of thing almost. And it tells you like how much coffee you need to kind of do it. But like I said, you do kind of have to destroy this. I mean, well, I guess maybe not, but I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's 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 kind of fun. It's cool. Um, I'm just going to open this up, though, to get in there. But you got this, and then you can kind of pl play with it. You can see that you got, a, you got a little drink right there. You got the figure. You have a stand section right here, which I feel like this will probably come in a little bit more. Or, or maybe, you know what this is? I wonder if this is like, this is the, the mixer, like the margarita mixer. Oh, my God. It's hilarious it's it's a it's a blender because you 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 got to use that for it and then you you pour it oh my freaking god that's hilarious um i am gonna open this up though because i'm gonna display it uh like that and everything because I, I i think it's hilarious so i'm gonna do a little bit of a cut right here come back with this guy opened up and show you how fun it actually is but <coughs> uh, it's already fun. 
So let's get this guy out here and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> Woo! Wow, um, <clears throat> you know, if there was ever a, a figure that made sense to be a San Diego Comic-Con figure, Jimmy Buffett running away while uh, dinosaurs are attacking, while carrying margaritas, is definitely it. Last year, I think it was last year, it was uh, that uh, uh, set where... Uh, I. Uh, I forgot what his name was, but he was sitting on a toilet, and he he was getting attacked uh, by the T Rex that in that scene from Jurassic Park. This is amazing. Uh, now I do have to uh, kind of say that I really didn't have to d destroy too much. Uh, to be totally honest with you, if you're pretty careful, um, you can remove everything and put it back in. So if you did want to do that. You, you can. So I do have to apologize uh, for what I said a little bit ago about uh, how, you know, they that with their uh, Jurassic figures, they don't really make it uh, collector-friendly. This one definitely is, I would say, for the most part. Uh, you do have some instructions, again. So, oh, flip that upside down. Uh, so you do have the lights, the sounds that you can see. Uh, you have the dimorphodons that... Are, are on these clear pillars that actually when you rotate this go up and down i'll show you that it shows you how to replace the batteries uh how to kind of um attach everything for the most part it, it's all very simplistic these bits here uh just kind of peg in um and you can remove them if you want but you got the clear pillar right there the dimorphodons are all the exact same which is fine uh, you got a hole in there you got the open mouth and they're kind of flying around. And then you just take this and plug that in. Uh, now, <coughs> I do like this. Um, you can kind of use this as, as a, a backdrop of sorts. But you got them running around and everything. you got other ones flying around. This is the visitor center in Jurassic World. Kind of just flex this around a little bit. And then I like keeping this. And I didn't even notice that you got like the little dial for the blender. But also, uh, you, you, you get that in the uh <laughs> the actual toy so you got the base right here which has this kind of like tiki room sort of looking thing with like the straw here on the top uh like bamboo around here like i said you got the pillars that go all the way around with the uh, dimorphodons attached to the top do i, I keep calling them a dimorphodon so hopefully i'm actually saying the right thing and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure it just says dinosaur accessories um if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is. Uh, but you can, this is where all the lights and the sounds come from. Uh, these move up and down. I'm not going to do it because as soon as you start doing it, it activates it and stuff. But uh, kind of, you can see the Jurassic World logo right there on there. And then, of course, let's start off with Jimmy Buffett. Uh, carrying, of course, two, uh, two margaritas with them uh, i'm going to zoom in here this is actually an amazing likeness to them i'm really impressed you got the glasses which look really good the hat which is perfect of course he's in his you know more uh, tropical sort of garb with like a yeah, little pinkish or salmon maybe salmon i'll say salmon uh his shorts and then of course the piece de resistance flip-flops because you can't have a Jimmy Buffett figure without him wearing flip-flops. And then you have him holding margaritas, which actually have, like, limes and stuff on there. I mean, that is absolutely freaking spectacular. You can remove these if you want. Uh, he's just got some fisted hands that hold them. But, I mean, realistically, you, you, you got to keep both of those in there just because. I mean, this is a really fun figure really really i mean and i love how he's like la or smiling despite the fact that he's about to be attacked by flying dinosaurs all the articulation in the hammond collection figures is still here like with the full um range of motion you got the head you got the shoulders you got the elbows hips in and out you got double bends there at the knee uh, i will say that his ankles are a little bit tricky to kind of do you kind of really want to work those a little bit 
to kind of get them because you can. Oh wait, well, and it rotates. What's going on here? Did I move that all the way around? Oops. Oh yeah, I did. What? Oh, I rotated his leg. Um, so you kind of have to because there, there, it, there feels like a natural kind of like section there where it wants to go into, and then you have to move it forward a little bit, but. You can get it, and then you have a uh, little pe peg holes right here on this margarita glass, and you can kind of see you got like ice inside there and everything. Super, super fun. And then to activate it, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just kind of do it without him on there. Uh, well, no, let's put him back on there because it makes more sense. So you put the little pegs in his feedums. If I can find the peg hole, there we go. There's that one. There's that one, and there he is, and he's holding his drinks. Now, you rotate this around, and you're going to start seeing that these move up and down, which is cool, but then it also activates the sound, so you can hear them screeching. Keep going around. It'll activate again. There they are, and again, they're just kind of bouncing up and down. This is hilarious. Get the blender sound. The blender sound is amazing. I I love it. I absolutely love it. Keep going. And then you'll hear more of the screeching from them. So sorry. You can hear a lot of screaming in the background just in general. And then another kind of a short little screech. And then... Now, I would be remiss in my review of said set. If I did not bring up the fact that there's one other accessory, you might have seen it. If you look very carefully, it's there. It's very tiny. It's very small. It is the elusive, the mysterious, lost shaker of salt. <laughs> it comes with a lost salt shaker. I mean... Oh my God, um, I'm more than likely gonna lose this to one of my cats. But if I, I'll, I'll just throw it there so that it's always at his feet. Um, this is a spectacular set. Uh, th this is not gonna be something for everybody. Uh, th th this is obviously for a lot of those um, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World fans. It's a great homage. It's a great nod to an icon of uh, movie history. And the fact that he was in the film is super, super fun. Uh, they, they, like I said, this is actually a perfect use for the, the Comic-Con exclusive sort of moniker. Uh, because I, this is not going to sell at retail. There's, there's no way that it, it's going to, you know, casual people are not going to go by see jimmy buffett from jurassic world and want to buy it collectors are th that's that's for sure uh but that that's what it what what makes san diego comic-con so special in terms of being able to release crazy off the wall ideas like this uh to to the folks over at mattel um first of all thank you for sending this to me i forgot to mention that earlier but thank you so much for sending this to me to actually be able to review for everybody uh, and just have fun with it. But also to the team that thought outside the box and thought about doing this, great job, guys. Um, absolutely spectacular. Super fun. Uh, available right now. If you are at uh, San Diego Comic-Con today, today is Wednesday. Um, it is available. You can go to the booth right now, um, at least while the booth is open, and pick this up. You'll also be able to pick it up through the remainder of of the week um, until Comic Con ends on the on Sunday. Uh, however, if you do want to pick this up and you are not able to go to Comic Con, it will also be available on Mattel Creations website, which I'll put a link right down there in the video description, 
where you can go there Thursday, uh, the 25th of July, and pick this up yourself. Uh, so you don't have to go to the convention. You can just go online, buy this. Boom. Done. Just nice and easy. But uh, there you go. <laughs> I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it. But there you go, guys. There's my look at the uh, 2024 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Jurassic World Jimmy Buffett Hammond Collection figure. Uh, thanks again to the folks over at Mattel. And thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it, guys. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Giving me that like goes a long way towards helping me out. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there as well. That way you never miss out on any future reviews of mine. But until next time, this is Optobotamus saying, uh, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Stay young, have fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.